Hey everyone, imagine this. Your phone, Wi-Fi and radio all work by bending math to send ghosts through walls. Pretty wild, right? Here's the secret sauce. No engineering degree needed. All right, let's start with the basics. Your voice shakes a microphone's magnet, creating a wobbly electric signal. But here's the problem. These waves are lazy. They die after a few feet. Frequency equals pitch, like 440 hertz equals an A note. Amplitude equals loudness. But raw audio waves, totally useless for long distance. So radios cheat. They hitchhike your voice onto a carrier wave, a super fast high energy wave that can travel miles. Think of it like a tiny audio wave riding a massive ocean wave. For AM radio or amplitude modulation, your voice stretches the carrier's height. Picture the equation Y equals sine, one plus sine X, times sine, 100 X. For FM radio or frequency modulation, your voice speeds up or slows down the carrier. Imagine a wave squishing and stretching. Now here's where the magic happens, tuning in. Your radio uses a resonant circuit, a math filter that only listens to one frequency. It's like tuning a guitar string to vibrate at just 98.7 FM. Check out this equation F equals sine 1 dot 2 pi square root of LC. Change the capacitor C or inductor L, boom, new station. So why does this matter? This math runs everything wireless. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, even Mars rovers. Next time you stream a song, remember you're literally surfing sine waves? Want to learn more on how digital signals work? Smash that like button, it's the radio wave of approval. Catch you next time, math isn't magic, it's everywhere.